From the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your evening weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. Hi, everybody. Sure hope you had a wonderful and safe day. And I say safe day because we've had a lot of flooding that's been ongoing around East Tennessee. And we are far from being out of the woods as we have breaking news to pass along to you here this evening. Hurricane Helene is now a Category 4 hurricane with winds sustained at 130 miles per hour, gusting to 155 miles per hour. And the only benefit from this storm system is that it's racing to the northeast at 23 miles per hour. Uh, earlier tonight, it was 100, uh, 100 miles offshore of the Big Bend of Florida. This is going to be an extremely dangerous and destructive storm system for the Florida coastline and likely for us here at home as well as it continues to track its way northward, likely making landfall as a strong Cat 3 or a Cat 4 hurricane barreling through the Tennessee Valley and up into western Kentucky as we get into our Friday and Saturday. So we've got widespread watches and warnings. First things first, hurricane and tropical storm warnings that extend all the way over into North Carolina. Flood watches, flash flood warnings, flood warnings that have been ongoing thanks to the onslaught of the rain that we've seen over the last couple of days. We're talking more rain with Helene, but we're also talking about incredible wind that's going to be racing its way into East Tennessee as we get going on our uh, Friday morning. So once again, we'll pick up our wind speeds here tonight. Uh, and notice that overnight tonight, the wind is really going to start to pick up anytime after about midnight, but likely closer to, oh, say two, three, four o'clock in the morning. And then really by seven o'clock in the morning for the morning rush hour, we are talking about winds gusting to 30, 40, 50, 60, even 70 or 80, 90 miles per hour, especially across the higher elevations. So it's going to be rough going. It's a good thing that schools and a lot of schools have called off and canceled school for our Friday. Lower elevations will see sustained winds from 20 to 30, gusting to 50 plus. Higher elevations for uh, 30 to 40, gusting to 70 to 80 miles per hour. So a high wind warning is in effect all day on Friday. Wind advisories for the Cumberland Plateau back off to our west with tropical storm warnings over into North Carolina. We've got the flood watches in place along with the flash flood warnings and the flood warnings that some of the rivers are going to continue to be record breaking over its banks. And we're talking about you folks in Newport. And I'll highlight that here in a second. As Helene and the remnants swing their way into western Kentucky, it will lose its energy and steam, but just kind of meander uh, across uh, Kentucky and Tennessee for the entire weekend. So while I don't think that this weekend's going to be a washout by any stretch of the imagination, actually, I think most of the rain comes to an end as we get closer to about 10 to noon on Friday. But it is still going to give us the cloud coverage. It is still going to be breezy and we will still have some lingering showers around the area. Over the last two days, we've seen anywhere from three, four, five, six, seven to eight inches of rainfall across the eastern sections of East Tennessee. Not a ton across the western sections, but that is going to be changing. And because of all this rain, the rivers are gonna be coming out of their banks. We're talking about the Pigeon River in Newport. If you're joining us from Newport, you need to have a plan like ASAP. You need to probably know what to do because we're talking about the flood stage. A major flood stage is 12 feet. The forecast crest is 18 feet come Friday night. 23 feet is the forecast crest for the French Broad, also in Newport. And major flooding is right there at 20 feet. So we are talking about major flooding there. Could see some minor to maybe even moderate flooding across the Nolichucky. And even at the Clinch River just above uh, Taswell, we're looking at minor to maybe even moderate flooding uh, near the Taswell area on the Clinch River. So incredible amounts of rain, incredible amounts of flooding. And then insult to injury is going to be the wind. That we'll highlight here in a second. So do expect or anticipate Big time power outages across East Tennessee as we head through the day on Friday. So Friday morning and overnight tonight, we're going to continue to see that onset of rain continuing to swing its way through the area. So that's insult to injury from the rain that we've already seen. But as I mentioned, between 10 and noon, we're going to start to see a lot of the rain fade away and move its way on out. But we'll have some lingering showers hanging out with us Friday afternoon. Not a ton, but a few lingering showers. And it's still going to be rather breezy and gusty throughout our Friday afternoon. Just through Friday night, so tonight through the day tomorrow, we're still talking about anywhere from one to two, three, four, maybe even five inches of rain across the Southern Valley and the Cumberland Plateau. Something to keep in mind. Again, you haven't had a whole lot of rain versus what uh, Upper East Tennessee has seen so far, but that's going to change. Now, high temperatures on Friday will be back in the mid to upper 70s, so a nice weather pattern there for sure. As I mentioned, we'll start to see improving conditions throughout the day on Friday. 
Rainfall again was going to continue to pile up throughout the day on Friday. But let's talk about the wind because the wind's going to be increasing overnight tonight. I think anytime after midnight, closer to 2 to 4 o'clock in the morning, the wind is really going to start to pick up from southeast to northwest. But as we get into the sunrise hour, the morning commute, here comes the wind. The wind is going to be cranking as we get into early in the morning on Friday. Anywhere from 30, 40, 50 to upwards of 60, 70, and 80 mile per hour wind gusts can be anticipated across the higher elevations as we get our Friday started. But the wind will relax as we head through the day. Rain's going to be heaviest early in the morning, then fade away during the afternoon, and then just spotty showers as we get into the upcoming weekend. Rain chances really start to fade away as we get into next week. Temperature-wise, not bad. We're going to be at or even below average. Now listen, I've said it uh, uh, earlier today. I'll say it again. I'll say it a thousand more times. Have a way to receive weather information. Uh, and, and a super simple, efficient, and easy way to do so is by downloading the East Tennessee Weather app. Just search East TN Weather from your app store, all one word. Look for the orange TN and the white lightning bolt. The interactive radar is a great tool giving you past, current, and future radar of two hours. You get to daily forecast weather updates three times a day, 6 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. during the weekdays, 7 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. on the weekends. And, of course, your current conditions, seven-day forecast, and your daily blog is all available there as well. So we will definitely keep you posted on that. By the way, I'm raising some money uh, for the American Cancer Society. We'll talk much more about that in another day. Right now, we do want to talk much more about the weather that's impending across East Tennessee. Make sure you charge all of your electronics overnight tonight and have them fully charged by sunrise because I do anticipate some big-time power outages with toppled trees throughout our Friday. Have a wonderful and safe night. Don't forget, Wake Up with Witcher starts off at 7 o'clock in the morning for a live weather update. All East Tennessee weather platforms will be updated by 6 a.m. and we'll keep you posted on how this all plays out. You can share your photos through Facebook and also through the East Tennessee weather app. And don't forget that East Tennessee weather is all digital all the time everywhere. I'm on Roku TV, Amazon Fire. I'm on YouTube. Go smash that and subscribe to that YouTube button. I've got the East Tennessee weather app, easttnweather.com. I've got an East Tennessee weather Facebook page along with the Mike Witcher TV Facebook page keeping you in the know of what's going on in our community. And if you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, and sharing to everything you see on social media, it really helps the platform and it helps community awareness. Please pass along the word. Have a great night.